Fernando, good morning. Good morning. I wanted to touch first on, on your early look. You mentioned a little bit of the fossil future and expectations. And Exxon just mentioned today on Sierra Week that they're considering canceling a hydrogen project. It is a blue hydrogen, meaning it comes from natural gas as opposed to renewable sources, uh, essentially because the federal government is threatening to cut incentives to blue hydrogen as opposed to green hydrogen. Uh, it's just another right. way that we think that hydrogen doesn't really make sense and it's not a viable alternative long term, especially green hydrogen. The cost is just way too high to actually make it a competitive uh, future uh, pro project for energy. So in other words, pure hydrogen, which you know, Jay Van Skyver would agree on, which is it'll be great to have you guys go back to back because one of the best shorts in hedge eye history is plug power, right? And um, it's the amount of bullshit around hydrogen as a topic. And you you hit on this, you were standing by my desk yesterday. It's just, uh, it's perfectly timed. So fossil future. On that, you know, like he, he really makes the point, like I'm not trying to be political about it. I'm just trying to give the perspective, right? His point is cost effectiveness of the energy source, number one. And two, uh, if you can't scale that and, and, and have repeatability at scale for a large percentage of the population, then you can't provide them the number one thing that they need, which is energy. Um, so it's really like a, I mean, he his second, like his second selling point next to cost effectiveness is, is actually human progress, um, which to me is maybe that's why that book's pretty popular because it's it's an entirely different spin versus kind of the 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 climate you know or the or the green community you know whatever that is what what do you think about that well, i totally agree I, I come from a poor country and uh you know we i always joke that we can tell people to to really regulate their energy use when americans don't have a garage full of uh, trinkets and you know margaritaville blenders and other stuff uh, it's very easy for us to say that from uh, our nice heat controlled, uh, climate controlled offices and our nice SUVs, but most of the world does not operate like that. There are over 5 billion people that are trying to consume what we are consuming, or at least a fraction of that. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africans consume less than an American refrigerator, so it's very easy for us to say, don't industrialize, stay poor. But uh, I think that's a, that's morally wrong, I think. You really need to allow for human development and even to just reach the levels that our poorest here in the U.S. have. This is not a an argument in either fossil future or by you or by me that climate change isn't a thing. Like, that's not the point. The point is cost effective energy is needed by the majority of human beings. And we have that and we can be long that. And, and that's my point in the early look is. I'm going to be long fossil fuels, fuels. And, and if you don't want to be long and make money because because you have this version of, uh, of of your story, then that's fine. But I really want to tie it to that and, and still have the ability to highlight that there's a more well-rounded uh, debate around the subject matter. Yeah, I think the energy industry's role in the world is to provide affordable energy. That's ultimately their goal. And you're not doing that with solar. Uh, you need eight times as much solar capacity to replace a nuclear generator uh so wow. and, and even then you still need battery storage which we don't have and it's very cost prohibitive and carbon intensive to create that battery storage so it, it, it you're not providing the affordable energy that you're supposed to do as an energy industry you're providing a a a, a really nice to have which is lower carbon emissions that isn't necessarily the goal of the industry as a whole and is not legislated as such either in a world where the, it's very hard to find shorts, Fernando, these have been some of the best shorts. So shorting, we're not shorting the climate change narrative. We're shorting the assets that got pushed and, and marketed by Wall Street to people for fees. That's what we're doing. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.